Aloha and welcome to November 1-1. This is a month that I really love because not only it's part of autumn and things are just changing and really this is when the butterfly starts to come out. You know, you get the caterpillar coming out and it's really a time where we see in that short period of time how we can transform ourselves. And so November is, that's what it's all about. Imagine yourself like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. It's not gonna happen overnight, all these changes, but November brings us this essence of awakening, you know? So we just finished our new moon that started on November the 4th, and I usually say, the great energy starts in that three-day pocket. So, you know, if it falls on the fourth, today is the last day. And so this is a time where we feel that we need to give it the last remaining of planting our seeds and what we want to see for the next new moon because it gives us a challenge to see what we plant in our seed. You don't expect it to be full blossom. Some may and some may not happen. You know, and like I said, the garden is really my place of meditation. My teacher is because I put in a whole bunch of seeds inside. One grows, the other one doesn't and it's from the same seed it could be the soil it could be a lot of things it could be too much watering it could be the sun it could be all of these things that happens and it's just like our part of our life and so november is gonna be a very time of different huge emotion to get us out you know pushing us through that soil and so November is a really, really, November 11th, 1-1. One, one. It's a very pushy energy. And we have to look at it because we're going to see a lot of changes in the system. When I say system, it's going to be where banks, internet, government, and things like that. There's going to be a lot of these things that's going to be really pushing. It's a very strong energy. And so there's going to be a lot of frustration, a lot of stress. And I've been saying this all the time about food supply. As we know, you know, because of some of these containers is really just stuck out in the ocean. And so a lot of these things is going to kind of be coming to a huge rollout, I will say. And so travel is another thing that's going to be really something of we need to kind of, because of there's a lot of frustration, a lot of stress, there could be some, a lot of road rage, a lot of travel experience that's not going to go the way we think it is. And so really is that because of that pushy energy that's going to start to happen on the 11th you know really we need to kind of i always using this word step back because 2021 is really a time to step back and analyze of all these huge changes because it is a change it is a change no matter what anybody say oh we're going to go back to the norm the norm is over 2020 is a new norm, norm of it, all of it, just colliding the changes and government. And so really, November 17th is really something that we shouldn't really not force anything, you know, really just kind of pray for things to just happen. And just kind of really release your energy of just letting it go with the flow. Why? It's because 
all these things are going to start to happen and so our frustration our stress our things that we need to you know because we're so used to, to our old life when holiday season come there's you know we just finish with with halloween here comes thanksgiving here comes christmas here comes new year you know back to back to back and so these are the times that we need to really really choose our battle wisely you know because there's so much rage of energy that's going to happen and so and it's a very passionate color that you can really see that's gonna that's coming out and so when that happens we really need to stay focused on the simple things the simple things are something that's not going to get us overly frustrated because the outer world energy be is really a pushy forceful energy and so alexa turn off the alarm i gotta go faster so because i have an appointment to go to and so the seven so it's the fourth the new moon the 11th is this pushy heavy energy the 17th we need to because of the strong energies happening we need to not force things on the 17th the 19th is the lunar eclipse okay and that has to do a lot with money okane mama give me money the the thing is is that the economic ways of things whether it's going to be the bitcoin whether it's going to be the banking system whether it's going to be all these trillionaires things are going to start to happen because why a lot of these investment and in things are going to start to come out a lot of the frauds and a lot of the debts a lot of these financial changing is going to be really really heavy on a 19 so the crypto and all these other things and so really look at the value of things because there's going to be that really this environmental change of economic money and things like that will happen and so we really need to be be really conscious because there's gonna could be like cyber attack um a lot of scammers you know there's a lot of people because of what's gonna happen this everything now is all virtue a lot of it and so really 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 Take your time and find that credibility because we feel like we want to change in our life because a lot of people already lost their jobs or they got fired because of this, you know, vaccine, no vaccine. There's a lot of these things. You see what I'm talking about? The outer world frustration, the outer world chaos, the outer world financial things are going to start to really come up you know and that's going to start around the 19th and so really that's going to start where you really need to start to research and especially if you are like a small company or if you are very limited in budget you need to really like dig deep you know like how a dog dig deep they can smell it they can sense it they use their gut feeling right that there's a bone underneath this you know just like the other day I'm like okay I pull this weed and it's like boom and I'm like oh there's something better underneath all of this so I start to dig and rip through all the grasses and out came this beautiful soil and everybody's like and soil is like the best thing to do to have to grow your vegetable, your fruits, your trees, your plants, your flowers, 
because of the richness of the soil you can't find that money cannot buy that because it's all underneath over there and so really this is when i'm saying is really dig deep because a lot of people is going to give you this fast talking money making thing and you know, there's a lot of scam going on because of what's going to happen with all of this thing because you're getting new currency coming up, right? You know, the other day, somebody was doing the Squid Game currency and it, it I mean, that's what I'm talking about. These kind of things are going to start to come up. You know, currency, Squid Game crypto, or and this guy lost his life savings, you know? And so this is what I'm saying that we need to be very careful. There's going to be a lot of these. Hey, come join me. You want to free this? You want? I see it all the time, and and that's what's really frustrating because I've been doing this for a very long time, and it's not like people really need to take these things seriously because it's people's life, but. A lot of people are not conscious about that and so they create this thing so in other words be simple and look at the value dig deep into it because there is a lot of this I hate to use this word devilish thing is going to come out okay a lot of these things that's going to hit the stock market it's going to a lot of these things going to go into default a lot of these things is going to go into um, sexuality, ownerships of who they are, what they are, and, you know, a lot to do, a lot of these things are going to happen. And I hope I'm not scaring anything or anybody, but whew, there's a lot that's going to happen this month. And we need to keep a very careful eye in what's going to happen with the U.S. government. And perhaps this is when we really need to see that maybe there could be the first woman president. Because in President Biden's things that is happening to him, and this is not something, because I'm not into politics and all that, but all of these things are coming out. And, you know, even with the EU, because this just happens to be all in this chart. And I don't want to go into how this chart is. It's just basically that's how the flow of energy. And so really there's going to be a coming out a lot to do ahead with the truth, a lot to do with things that is going to because of that's going to happen around like the 19th and thereafter a lot to do with lies constitution the power issue and the people and that's really going to trickle down all the way to april like end of april and so what it is, is that what needs to die, meaning that 1999, where things were just changing over to 20, to near 2000. And so in that 20 years of it, which is 2020, that needs to somehow that life, that lifespan of 20 years needs to somehow pass away like anything else. And so this is a time when the restructuring order starts to happen. And that's why this month is like a breakup. <laughs> you know, you gotta, so, you know, sometimes they have to demolish the old to bring in the new. And that's when we really need to really focus on these things because the coming out of the truth ahead of us which is going to come into the lies the constitution the 
the power issue, the people, especially the people, because we are forgotten for some reason. And that's why I say that the eyes are all upon the U.S. right now, because all of this, you know, they said, oh, China money and this and that. No, America really in a bigger global financial aspect has the control. It's how it's going to be used and how is all of this is going to happen is, is how really the people has to do with it. You know, you got your left and the right and the Democrats and the Republican and people who just say enough is enough. It doesn't matter what we are. We are, you know, really going forward with our human rights. Because this is going to be a lot of changes with AI coming in. Because don't forget, technology is really at the forefront. And that's where I'm saying about the changes. And so all of this is really start going to happen. And really, on the 19th, when the eclipse does come in, we really need to back up into your heart and really the idea is when the time has come that this is what it is going flying from one you know state to the next city or whatever you know whether we're flying or going by boat or going by train and all that things to do with transportation you know, really all of this has to come in because this strong force of energy, it's really coming forward, like boom. And so if we make quick decisions uh, because the outer world is forcing us to think, we need to really step back and go into this softer, feel you know there is a saying that the rock would you know the rock when the water hits because the water is such a strong energy force you know and when it hits the rock the rock somehow in time shows a different pattern and boom but if it's a soft rock it just glides it just flows through like the river and so water energy can be seen in many different forms. If we're rigid and strong and feeling this way, and you're gonna get this energy, it's gonna maybe just break us down. But if we be much more balanced and much more center and the smoother the flow of energy will go, even though it's the water energy. And so, Really, there's all of this thing where the communication where November 22nd, oof, watch out. This is a really strong day, 1122, two, two. because the truth, the law, the land, the air, and the water, all of this is through how are we going to communicate? And there's that power of the human or the power of the AI is going to start to, you know, really kind of take over, you know? And so what I'm saying is that, you know, we see all of these futuristic movies, TV, you know, when we were young, we used to watch the Jetsons, you know, and, Lily, we're living this life right now. And so this is so, so important when this month is to really find the clarity and be that smooth rock where you can just feel the energy of the flow because it all has to do with how we center our heart, 
how we center the energy that's going to flow through us because if we're always oh my god i gotta go and pick up the kids oh my god i gotta hurry up and do the dinner oh my god i gotta hurry up and the frustration and the, and the anxiety oh my god i gotta go get christmas present oh everything is so expensive i don't have the money i don't have this you know there's a lot of things that's happening so really if you need to come to terms and say hey look be simple really be simple there's nothing fancy about being fancy right now because we can always do that right now November the 1 1 and really focus this on November 22nd this is a real great energy frequency that we're going to receive on how it's going to expand the full moon is coming up on the 18th and literally the Three days afterwards, the 22nd is a new to go forward because the full moon is the time when we let go and we wish it well and we bring in the new because this is the last time of the year, November, December, and then we're going to go into 2022, 2 2. So I look forward to seeing you soon and don't forget to subscribe on my youtube but most of all my website is now available so don't forget to check it out at cocojor.com or cocojorchannel.com and check out all of our great daily classes our workshop as as well as one-on-one -on -one consulting and I'm also giving away free energy reading. So click on, see you, who knows, see you on Zoom, see you in person, but most of all, I see you with a great, great happy heart. You stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube and aloha.